Well, hello there. I am evangelist Mike McCurry, and you're listening to the Bible Tract Echoes radio broadcast. You know, sometimes sitting down behind this microphone and doing my best to truly be an encouragement, sometimes it's easy, and sometimes it's not. And this week, today, is one of those not-so-easy times. But not because of what you may be thinking. It's simply because we have so much to get to, so much to talk about. I'm excited about it. We're going to do everything we can to truly edify and exhort the brethren and sisters this week on the Bible Tract Echoes radio broadcast. I'm excited the fact that you would listen in, that you would invest part of your time. I had the opportunity just not long ago to be in South Carolina. I was talking to a young lady there. Her name was Ruby, and she was mentioning, we were reminiscing, I had met her before, and she was reminding me that her mother is a persistent, a faithful listener to this very program. Her mother lives up in Wisconsin. And so let me say this to Miss Ruby there in South Carolina and Ruby's mom up in Wisconsin. You are the folks. You're the type of folks that make all of this worthwhile. The knowledge that there are people, dozens and hundreds and thousands and tens of thousands. I've been in many multitudes of states over these past 18 months while at the helm of Bible Tracks Incorporated and met so many of you that have been so very encouraging. And let me say this sincerely, truthfully, you folks are great. In all seriousness, you folks make this awesome. Now, realize it's a weighty responsibility to be speaking to many of you for 13, 14, 15 minutes a day, Monday through Friday, but the encouragement that you folks are truly It is great. And so we have a lot to get to today. I have a tracked story, a letter from the front to share with you in not too long. We're starting a brand new study this week as well. We are going to take a bird's eye view at one particular book in the Bible. We are going to smash through it as quickly as possible. We are going to really do kind of an expositional survey of this book verse by verse Very quickly, though, we're not going to get too down in the weeds, but what I'd like to do is show you what this particular book, I'm not going to give you the name yet, but one of the 66 books of the canon of Scripture. It's been such an encouragement to me over these past little while, and I'm going to share it with you. I also have one more thing that we're going to make a part of this broadcast for the next little while, maybe at least the next week or two. You see, friend... One of the other hats that I get to wear while I am the executive director of Bible Tracks Incorporated, and yes, I'm the radio host of the Bible Tract Echoes radio broadcast, I also get to wear another hat as well. I am the general manager of a ministry called Bible Truth Music. Now, you may have heard me make mention of this before, just in passing, but you see, friend, the world, if I can say this very nicely, The world is putting out, well, I'll say it bluntly instead. The world is putting out junk when it comes to music sometimes. The crassness, the coarseness, the wickedness, the absolute blasphemy that is called music sometimes. Truly, it's saddening, but really it's steering a lot of folks away from Christ. And one of the goals of Bible truth music is to produce solid and trustworthy Bible truth honoring Christ, honoring music. And that ministry has been doing so for over 30 years. Now, of course, Bible Tracks Incorporated has been around for 80 plus years, but 30 years for Bible truth music, that's nothing to sneeze at. And so I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about Bible truth music. Of course, this is the Bible Tract Echoes radio broadcast. But what I would like to do every once in a while and throughout the entirety of this week We're going to hit pause for just a moment, and we're going to listen to a song that has been produced by Bible Truth Music. Now, this particular week is special because we're going to listen each day to a different song on a project called Then Sings My Soul. Now, it's special because, I, if you'll allow me, I get to be on this particular recording. Now, realize there's like 10 or 11 other gentlemen that are singing alongside. It's kind of a men's ensemble. It's called, the group is called Friends Singing the Gospel. You see, gospel tracks are all about telling people about the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Well, music does a great job of steering people to Christ as well. And so I'm going to ask you if you would. 
Listen now to this project titled, Then Sings My Soul. Here is the namesake song. It's namely, How Great Thou Art. Revel in the orchestration. Listen to the amazing emphasis that is put on the greatness of God. Friend, How Great Thou Art, that should be our anthem every day and every hour. Listen to Friends Singing the Gospel, brought to you by Bible Truth Music, a great song, How Great Thou Art. What a song, and what a presentation of it. Now, if you listen very, very closely, every once in a while, you might just possibly be able to pick me out of the lineup of all those great singers. Now, the amazing thing is, 
I'm not a great singer, so they were able to kind of pull the slider down on my track so you don't hear me quite as much. Hopefully they did that anyway, but I appreciate you listening to that great song. We're going to do that through the entirety of this week. We're going to introduce another song, and I hope you appreciate those. I hope you enjoy good music. If you'd like to find out more about Bible Truth Music, you can visit BibleTruthMusic.com. That's all I'll say about that today because we need to get very quickly into the introduction to this book of the Bible. Before we do so, what I'm going to do is read a short note. It's really amazing to see what God has done with gospel tracks around the world. I have a short note today, and tomorrow I have a phenomenal story about a gospel track just the size of a business card. It's amazing. You can't fit a whole lot of print on a business card, but somehow God still does a work. So let's do this. I'll read a very short letter from the front about the efficacy, about the influence of gospel tracts, and then we'll jump into a very short introduction to this book of the Bible that we will be studying right here on the broadcast. Stay with us. Here's a short letter from the front. Mr. Gene in Clyde, Ohio says, I listen to you almost every morning. Why almost? Because the program comes on at 4.15 a.m. on the Clyde, Ohio station 90.5 FM. The fact that anyone's listening at 4.15 a.m. is a miracle. He continues on. He says, almost means that sometimes, sometimes I sleep through your program. Well, Mr. Gene, I forgive you. He goes on to say, I have a card ministry, a tract ministry, because I can no longer get out of my home. I have polio. Well, Mr. Gene, we're going to pray for you if you'd allow us. He says, so this is my way of serving the Lord. Micah, speaking to me, you are the one that encouraged me on how important it was to enclose a gospel tract in my cards that I send out of my home. Not to be. He's saying he shouldn't be concerned about what people think when they open it. Just plant the seed. Mr. Gene, what an encouragement that was. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you the name of the book of the Bible that we are going to be discussing. I'm going to give you a bare bones introduction, by which I mean I'm going to talk about it for about 20 seconds. Here's what I want us to do. Let's say a prayer for Mr. Gene altogether, if you would, very quickly, but very intensely. God, thank you for Mr. Gene. Thank you for his desire to serve you with gospel tracts. Would you please be the great physician in his life? Heal his body if you would. Keep him in such a place that he can continue to serve you. We ask all these things in your son's name. Now, let's move on for 10 seconds. What book of the Bible are we going to talk about for the next couple of weeks? We're going to look at the book of Nehemiah. You must come back tomorrow to the Bible Tract Echoes radio broadcast. Thanks for listening. God bless. Thank you for joining us today for Bible Tract Echoes, a ministry of Bible Tracts Incorporated. If you would like to receive a free sample packet of all of our tracks, you can contact us by calling 309-828-6888. That's 309 309- 828-6888. Our mailing address is P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. A faster way to contact us is to go to our website at BibleTracksInc.org. That's BibleTracksInc.org. There you will find more information about our ministry and details on how you can support Bible Tracks Incorporated. Thanks for listening, and may the Lord richly bless you as you serve Him.